when I switched to pro mileage, in my case, I got 46-47% of savings oh, for that car. Pro mileage was the only one that gave me 5,000 extra value to cover, yet still cheaper, a lot less. A lot Turn up! Remember in my previous video? Actually, um, it's not in my previous video. I previously shared with you guys that uh, <coughs> sorry, I was a bit nervous. Just got this. Ooh. Careful, careful. Bent the corners. Not sure. So, uh, previously, I showed you guys that I managed to purchase the exact year's brochure of my uh, Repeat S. Yeah, this is the printed brochure of the Repeat S. 60 over pages, you know, and it's it's a gem to to keep, right? So I encourage everybody to uh, buy the brochure of the cars they they gotten. Damn, it's in perfect condition. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's perfect. Look at that! Okay, let's go through together. Alright. Oh. This is nice. And I made it a point that I want to get the pre facelift headlamp. So this was when it first came out. Oh! Okay, I cannot. I cannot expect the printing quality like that of the uh, the repeat. <laughs> sorry. Ooh, crap. I'm sorry. So just bring. It. I don't think this website works anymore. <laughs> sorry, I'm just excited. Flip it together. Find us on Facebook. This was the era where people are still using uh, printed magazines to to promote digital stuffs. <laughs> Inspired by water, water. That's very Bruce Lee. Oh, I see. It's a hot V turbo, is it? Or... Nice. Oh, the beautiful car. Um, why do they use this binding? See, this type of magazine binding, right? You see, that's what you. That's what happens. No, you don't. You don't. You don't get. You can only imagine what goes between. But anyway, 
performance that delivers a promise. Oh, look at the convertible. Intelligent chassis control system. Amazing, right? To look back, uh, this brochure should be 10 years old. Alright, it's 2011 when this car debuted. And uh, I have to say, BMW got it right on this car. Every single one of these 6 Series convertibles are absolutely reliable. Oh, look at it. This is what makes it unique. You know, almost looks like a spider kind of rear end. Oh, what is this? Experience book. Water provides clear direction. Ah, yes. Oh, the history of large BMW coupes. See, BMW, see what you've done to the 6 Series moniker? Right? That's the A Series. V12 pop up headlamps. Frameless B pillar. Far cry from the current B8 series. Oh, look at the interior. This is one of the best interiors that BMW has pulled off. Seriously, it looks beautiful, timeless, elegant, modern. Uh, won't go out of style. Efficient dynamics. They seem to have ditched this marketing phrase. Huh? And this was when the i8 was a vision, you know. Oh. <laughs> this would be the V8, right? Yeah, it's a hot V, the V8. 600 newtons and uh, 407 horsepower in just five seconds. See how 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 technology has progressed, right? A 4.4 liter V8 twin turbo only produces 407 horsepower back then, and zero to 100 in five seconds. <laughs> oh my god! And this one is the three liter. 320 horsepower, 450 newton meters of torque, 0 to 100 in a slouchy 5.7. Hey, back then it's considered fast, but can you imagine how, how things have changed? Dynamic stability control, xenon headlights. <laughs> Gets a shout out. Ooh, look at this, I have xenon. My god. Dynamic traction control. Run flat tires. But a lot of these technologies are, are pioneered by BMW. I have to tell you, uh, they were the first one to mass, to use uh, run flat tires uh, in a lot of cars. I mean, I, I, okay, what I'm saying here is that BMW may not be the first in some of these, but they are the reason these things became standard features now, right? Designing an integrated infotainment system with the iDrive, the implementation of um, when you release your throttle, it charges the car, the battery power is then used to power your ancillaries and all that. All these are pioneered by BMWs. Heads up display, you know, they, they were the ones who made these features popular because they just rolled it out in all their cars you know electronic shifters and all that see that's how the roof operates Whew. damn you have this combination look at that brown car with a beige roof not bad i'm old enough to to like these type of huh the color options available yep so mine was space gray and my upholstery is in ivory white Dakota. Mine is not Napa, 
this Dakota leather, the cheaper leather, you know. And my interior is this dark poplar wood. Right. It's a it's a exp it, it's an it's an expensive option. Uh, only available in the no, it was standard in the 650i and it's an option in uh, the 640i. All right. The soft top color. Oh, so they have black, beige, and silver fleck. Okay. My interior color is ivory white. It's not black. I'm glad. I'm glad it has a it has a white interior. Yeah. Lovely. So these are the Oh, these are the high spec wheels and there's a, an even higher spec wheel which is 20 inch but this one is arguably more artistically designed and these are just crap they're just crap all right very nice Features of this is this rear wind, rear wind screen that can independently operate, and it also serves as a wind deflector when it goes up. It changes the profile of the of the wind traveling across the car. What? Look at these wheels. These are awesome. Damn. Optional. Genuine BMW. Ah, this is the one of the, you know, from BMWs from the 2009, 10, 11, 12, or even 08 era, the most hated thing is this snap-in adapter. The, this, this stupid phone adapter that, that just occupies every single BMW glove box and is model-specific. It's the dumbest thing that BMW does. Yeah, horrible. That era, right? Every car maker was trying to earn extra money from these, from from helping you to integrate your smartphone. You know, it's, it's it's stupid. Oh, look at this car! Look at the profile. So it has a wheelbase of two point eight five five, and uh, the height of the car is pretty low, one three six five, and it's not as wide as people imagine. You know, the wheel tracks are one eight nine four. There are no details including the side mirrors and uh, oh including the side mirrors would be 2081 so it's a two meter wide car yep. lovely so that would be the brochure of my six series pre facelift f13 okay oh for this generation six series right you know what's amazing the cabriolet actually debuted first then only the the convertible uh, then only the hardtop coupe came out and then only the four door all right so before i go to the next one i just want to show you a little bit of uh one of my previous brochures oh the s4 so it came in a brochure that is across the range look at that May 2009 and it's in pristine condition I have to say man Audi puts more effort in there this is like super extensive it it has it's about you see in the BMW brochure right the paint option just now was an approximate it's just an approximate this is the actual paint itself you touch it right it's different in the BMW is uh, it's just printing. This one is you get to touch the actual paint, right? And I think all these of this era is just amazing. When you compare to everybody else of this era, right? Audi is so far ahead, and the cars never age. They look so good. Yep, this is my S four brochure. Yes, I. I wanted to keep it, I'm not going to give it to the person who bought my car. He can buy a brochure himself, so I kept this. 
right? I'm not a prolific. Uh, sorry, I'm not a prolific brochure collector. But it's just that uh, it's nice to have the brochures of the cars you own. It's just a something I like to do. Okay. I mean, provided your car is special enough to, to keep this brochure, lah, right? No, then. Artificial intelligent skin. I hope it's in good condition. Now I did not manage to find like a super expensive version of the brochure of my car for this one because um, it's not the correct version, I guess. Hope this is good. Please do not bend. Thank you. Can I show you guys my cutter? When was the last time something like this is made in Japan? When was the last time? You would have expected like everything that is below 300, 300 ringgit to be made in China, right? Sorry, I just have to. Oh yes, I don't know why, why they have this wrapper, but it's amazing. Let me just, sorry, let me share this excitement with you guys. Oops. May two thousand thirteen. So my RS6 is a 2014 car, okay, and this is the pre facelift. I I prefer the headlamps of the pre facelift. Yeah, the facelift just looks like a like a Volvo V90 headlamp. With the Thor's hammer. I have no idea why Audi suddenly decided it's a good idea to to pull off a Thor's hammer. Sorry. Oh, look at that. <whistles> Forsprung tour technique. They seem to be ditching this tagline as well. Forsprung. Remember when it came out, the commercials. The surprise on people's faces when it it demolished supercars on the track. It leaves behind M5s for good and uh, just humiliates the E63. Right, that was the time. Right, destroyed other cars in the track race. That's the A speed gearbox. Quattro overdrive system. <whistles> Amazing. These are the yeah these 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 brakes right debut with this car or was it before this? They have like the the flower shape disc pads, and the logic back then was that oh. Uh, those areas were needed, so cutting them off, they get to shed extra weight, which at the end just proves. Uh, but that was the era where Audi was, you know, they were just 
forward thinking. You know, and they were the only car maker that did this. And it became such a hit thing, you know, people would like to change to this, these disc brakes and uh, you, get, you, get, you get to... It's a signature, you know. Some, some, some stuff that car makers do, it gives them like a bragging rights or a signature of what, what they do. All right. This cabin is just amazing. So the the on the road price back then in UK was seventy seven thousand pounds. Can you imagine in UK seventy pound? You can look at this red color, beautiful. See Aldi, they put real paint. Oh no, this is printing. Okay, it's a laminated printing, not as not as extensive as the one in the the S four. And you can customize your painting. Look at that. If you go Audi exclusive, you can choose any leather, any painting, you can customize them for £2,000. Not, not a lot of money. I mean, this would be the leather I, I would love. The Lunar Silver, the white leather. Valcona Leather Honeycomb. So I got mine in Valcona. Uh, RS Emboss seats. Beautiful. Look at these seats. Oh. These are the same seats that I got in my Audi S4, and they are some of the best seats out there. Very comfortable. Just that the headrest is not adjustable, but very comfortable. Look at the options. Leather seats can cost up to nine thousand pounds. Oh, these inlays are beautiful. This is the piano black inlay with the lines. Lovely. Beautiful. To be honest, right? Yeah, most people are like oh, carbon, carbon, carbon. But if look at this here carbon is free of charge but this beautiful aluminium finish you know so it's a piano black wood with aluminium trim going inside to to become the lines this is a 1200 pound option it's more expensive than i would love this this would look way prettier than carbon to be honest carbon is only because we we, we know is some you know sport stuff but is it the prettiest inlays i'm not sure all right and i'm glad mine doesn't come with any wood inlay no 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 you buy an rs you put wood inlay and you're gonna get punched in the face ceramic discs yeah mine has ceramic discs and uh, the rims all three are the same designs, it's just different paint. I had these rims, these 21 inch rims, but uh, then we found one spoke was, was cracked. So, uh, I in the end I changed to RS7 win wheels, which requires uh, some spacer, spacer because of the offset. Because the RS7 doesn't have white body, the RS6 has white body. Um, safety and security, it has Audi Active Lane Assist, Side Assist, uh, Dynamic Cruise Control, Adaptive Cruise Control, um, Automatic Parking. My car has none of these, I'm glad. Thank you to the previous owner for not specking these. But, uh, <laughs> uh, this is a feature that, that people no longer really the German car makers no longer talk about it because it's really something that's not needed. You know, night vision, just get brighter headlamps. It's good, but because you need to put your head down to check, so it's unnecessary at the end of the day. All right, 700 newton meters of torque, 560 horsepower. It's a powerful car, a bit too powerful. 
All right, uh, the wheelbase 2.915, and uh, the length of the car isn't that long, 4.979 meters, and uh, the width, including the side mirrors, is 2086. It's a very tall car. All right, 1461, and if I raise the suspension. It almost looks like a crossover, but I love the the clearance that this car has on the road. Right, so yep, lovely. I'm happy. So I got my car brochures of the cars I've owned. Hmm. Of course, I didn't manage to get the brochures for my Subaru Legacy. Because that would be that would require some Japanese language, and you know, finding stuffs. I tell you, JDM stuffs are damn difficult to buy. All right, it's literally impossible to to buy the stuffs. I have my XC ninety brochure, but it's, it's so modern, so no point. All right, I'm a happy man. Cheers. God that the brothers on the rise now Endless celebrations all in my house yeah. Levitating now I'm super duper fly now yeah. London boy but they see where I reside now Put the time in while you always yelling time out And the critic cause I know I'm coming with it You were sitting you were wishing I was handling my business yeah. Now I got the ball like Harry Potter playing Quidditch And my business so humongous you were thing that happens in it We'll